hi everyone thank you so much for dropping by to my channel in this quick video I'm going to talk to you about some sort of experience I'm sure as a reseller you probably if you are a reseller on eBay you probably get the same sort of thing when you go to car boot sell and some sort of attitude you get from the traders and the sellers I'm sure it happened to you and it's always happens to me I don't know why and I never react to this sort of thing so for example when you go to a car boot sale and you pick up a, it's an item the, the, and you're, you're hackling for the price and things like this and and I, I always tend to find that the sellers was always will tell you that they will get more on eBay selling on eBay rather than selling it to you and this is where I tend to snap sometimes you know I I, I haven't blow my top but I keep telling them you know it's it's well and good selling on eBay but have you ever sold on eBay people tend to get the impression that selling on eBay is so easy and they can and I tend to tell them look if you if you can get five six times greater the amount you're asking for now then why don't you sell on on eBay why are you selling on a car boot sale why have you bought on a car boot why don't you go and sell on eBay and that's where they get stuck because they know they cannot sell on eBay because it's not an easy thing to do to sell on eBay unless you have a store and you have a good sales record and you are selling and you you have a customer base and you've selling it for say a few years people trust you then you can get rid of stuff but you know the impression people come up with is oh they think it's so easy to sell it's not easy it takes sheer guts and hard work and sometimes I get disappointed you know I have items in my store that been there for seven eight months I'm not selling but they don't understand that people think eBay is easy and you can flog it so next time when you go to eBay you know, car sell, that's how what it says you know I can get more money selling on eBay and you just turn around and say what well, why are you in a car boot sell why don't you go and sell on eBay and see how hard it how how hard it is to sell on eBay you know and I find some people has that I don't know it's kind of uh, anger towards if you tell them you're a reseller they get the oh so you they, they will come around and they will say something like oh so you're going to make so much profit who cares how much profit you make you know if you're a car boot seller your intention is to sell it cheap as possible that's what this the reselling business is basically trying to sell get an item on the cheap Try to make a profit out of it. That's the point of selling, right? So don't fall into trap. And you know, sometimes I bought things of car book sellers where they convinced me that item was worth so much in damn eBay. When I took it home, did my research, did everything, I find I lost money. But do not ever fall into the selling's trap. Oh, they give you large a lot of the sellers will tell you so much BS stay away from it go with your gut instinct and if you are a professional seller and you know what to sell and you know what's selling for you stick to the item don't try new stuff stick to things you know don't try to get something new muddled up I'm even now, although I'm coming up to almost a thousand feedback, 
Uh, I've done it on a part-time basis just over 15 months now and I'm getting good but I started selling on eBay in 2005 when eBay was like a dinosaur at that time you know this new thing nobody hardly knew what them how eBay was you know and that was tough so I come a long way of eBay selling. You know, I, nowadays, whenever I'm shifting gear, couriers or the shipping company comes to my house, pick up my parcel. Years ago, you used to take it to post office and then you have to write it. And I used to shift a lot of stuff to Australia, New Zealand, Canada and all over the place. And you have to, you have to do the um, immigration thing, you know, your custom thing and this thing, declaration, this ration, that ration. There's so much headache, so much thing was involved. Now this is so simple. So even now I'm buying stuff, experimenting with stuff. Some of this stuff I don't buy. You know, I'm learning, it's a learning process. Although I showed you one of my, you know, you can go back to my couple of videos when I sell, show you the, the monthly sales. It shows, just, it looks good. You know, I got a couple of pair of trainers gone, couple of pair of jeans gone, this gone, that gone. By the end of the day, nobody sees how much stock I have. You know, I have literally, now at present time, you know, I have pairs and pairs of jeans and trainers and board game, all sort of stuff. So I have hundreds of items, just storage, and it's not selling. So but it's a learning process. So now, every time I go to a, um, a charity shop or car boot cell, I know exactly what to pick up. So whenever I see a baby monitor, for example, I'll grab it because I've sold, sold those things. Whenever I see a uh, baseball cap, I will grab it straight away. No ifs or buts because I know I sold tons of those, right? Whenever I see uh, things like the things I've sold, for example, I know, I'll buy it, no question. But to go to a new territory, I have to do research and a lot of other stuff before I jump in. So, when you're a new seller, do all of your homework and Learn everything before you start selling. M mistake in any business, whether you're selling online, offline, eBay selling, or you have a physical store somewhere, or shop, you're running a small business. Mistake is a good thing. Never ever look back and say, or made mistake. Mistake is part and partial of any business. Now, the more mistake you make, and the long term, you, you, you become more experienced. You learn from your mistakes. And when you talk to, when you watch a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of successful business people and businessmen and women, and when they talk about their life experience, all of them mention mistakes, and if you don't make mistakes, you never become a good businessman, so, uh, businesswoman, for that example. So, don't be afraid of making mistakes. You know, you know I make mistakes every day. I'll go on car boot sell, pick out things that I don't need, and then end up throwing it away. You know, you buy stuff, looking at it, you ask a vendor, look, an item, whether it works, and they're just to sell it, they'll tell you it works. When you bring it home, you're disappointed. It doesn't work. So you get frustrated, angry. You want to take your anger at somebody. But don't do that. You learn from your mistakes. 
and then you become a better person, a better seller, more experienced, and <clears throat> you become sharper in business. When you're starting out any business, mistakes which always happens, and you always will make mistakes. And I found so many elements has to come together to become a successful business. You know, it just doesn't happen overnight. It takes years after years of sheer hard work. And what most people tend to do is give up. I should never ever give up. Don't give up. Stick to it. And at the end of the day, the rewards will be there. If you can hold on to it. It's well and good when you see these eBay resellers from this country and from especially from the state and from the UK. You see them showing showing you, oh I've sold this, I've sold that and I'm doing twenty 20 grand or 30 grand or 40 grand a month you can achieve that you know you can do that sort of stuff you can do it but to see what they what everybody tend to show you is the the finer good stuff they never show you what's gone wrong, how many complaints they got, how many returns they have, how many stuff they bought, they couldn't sell it. They would never show you this stock room full of rubbish in there. Hardly cannot sell the damn thing. It makes sense watching good, it makes your eyes warm like lit up if you saw your money. Money always makes people motivated, encouraged. Uh, money also brings headache and also demotivates some people, frustrated. I tried not to get frustrated. You know, I found it's only recently when I'm selling stuff, lower ticket item means lower pricing, you know, you're 199 your six ninety nine, your five ninety nine of your world. You see the product and then that you send it, you do all your homework, people don't appreciate it. You go all the way to get source the stuff, then you list it and you do all the hard work, put in an envelope. Once so once the once the item is sold, you go to post office, you post it Look at the time involved and the headache you've gone through, all this hard work you've gone through. And then somebody buys it and then they complain. Oh, this is not the worst stuff they ordered or it's misleading, blah, blah, blah. Basically what they want is they want the money back. And as a reseller, you're too frightened of to challenge these people in case they give you a negative feedback, which you don't want because you were working hard enough to build your business. And if, if, if anybody gives you a negative feedback, then it sets you back again. But I'm learning in this stage, look, if you're honest and you sell something honestly good, even though the negative feedback you get, don't worry about it. Don't get too much focus on negative, um, negative feedback. Once you start building a relationship with your customers, even a negative feedback wouldn't hold you back you are always going to get negative feedback in the world. It doesn't matter. This life is not 100%. Nothing is 100%. So don't get focused on negative negativity. Negativeness will always be there. So concert and positive. Do your best and give your customer 100%. And if you can do that, you won't have any problem. Make sure whatever you sell, you sell good. 
and make sure do much as possible to your ability you know don't go over the top trying to sell to please other people we are too focused on pleasing people you know sometimes i've noticed i try not to do tend to do anymore you know if you're listening for example or you want to write a i essay on a description don't bother with that just highlight all the f- things is necessary according to the product if there's a defect to the product highlight it in your photo and a couple of sentences just explain and that's it don't go over the top 50 100 200 300 words explanation going on there you don't need to do that so make sure be positive and don't look at the negative in life 15 months ago i never thought or dreamt that i be a top ebay top rated seller now and also top rated seller power seller this seller that seller i just started as i as one does you know you start your car and slowly go up 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 to ramp so i just started slowly and pick up the momentum as i'm going and now slowly slowly i'm going to take it to next level in a couple of years time i may move away from car boot sale start importing stuff from china i can do that now if i wanted to you know i can go to big big distributors and importers and and start importing expensive stuff that i think in myself i am not ready yet i am not ready for that challenge once i think i'm ready i'll move on to the next scale next next stage of my ebay business even though i'm quite good at it but i'm not confident enough to take on larger scale larger scales means i need to scale up i need to now i'm doing everything from my home the next stage will be if i try to get move on to the next scale i have to move away from home and start hiring warehouses and shops and all the rest of it i'll have to have a staff and you know now at present time a happy one man band and then things once things start to grow i will i'll do that i hope you like what you saw in this video i hope this my muttering gives you a bit of i hope you picked up a bit of information please click like subscribe button below and write comments please let you know what do you think about these videos and i hope everyone has a good sell on ebay thank you so much